Hey everybody, welcome back to Gigabyte's Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and today we have a very special unboxing for you with our X99 Designare EX. That's right, it's not a typo and I didn't mispronounce it. It's actually from an Italian root, which means designer. So Gigabyte's new X99 board that you see here has this 3D rendering or model of an F1 race car. This board is focused towards designers or content creators, but it doesn't mean that it's not good for gamers or overclockers that would like to use this platform or like the color scheme. So let's go over the features that we see on the board and we'll take the board out and some of the accessories inside the box so you guys get a better look of what comes with this product from Gigabyte. So in the front you see that it has an Intel chipset X99 logo, so it's on the X99 platform. But that also means this board supports the new Intel i7 Extreme Edition processor, the 6950X 10 core. This is the first time we've actually seen a 10 core processor come into that consumer enthousi en enthusiast segment. Moving down, we see that it supports DDR4 3333 megahertz plus XMP ready. And it also has the Type-C graphics and RGB, which we'll talk about a little bit later on the back side of the board, uh, of the box. Inside, you can see that the board is in Gigabyte Classic Blue, as well as in the white. And on the inside flap, we have an awesome picture showing you uh, the board with the LEDs illuminated in blue. So let's swing to the back so we get one step closer to pulling the board out. So right here, we're, we're showing you guys that we do support that extreme Intel USB 3.1 design. Gigabyte offers a 32 gigabit per second bandwidth for the chip. Uh, the protocol itself only requires 10 gigabits, so it gives us a lot of wiggle room as well as for users that want to connect their mobile flash drives or devices so they have a lot more room and bandwidth for that. We also have a Gigabyte exclusive with premium three-way graphics support. Now, this is a very cool feature that Gigabyte has to offer. Um, for a 6800K processor that only has 28 lanes, users are still able to get three PCIe slots operating at PCIe by 16 Gen 3. So we're getting three slots from a 28 lane CPU, which is added value for all of you users out there thinking of going to that high-end desktop segment. We also have dual NVMe PCIe support with dual uh, U.2s. Of course, keep in mind one of the U.2 connectors is only operable when you have a 40 lane CPU installed. And we have another exclusive here from Gigabyte, ambient surround LED. With more and more feedback from users asking for more lighting and customization from the motherboard, Gigabyte has actually implemented more and more LEDs on the boards, which we'll show you in a few minutes uh, where they're located, but also we allow you to customize with the different color schemes that you're looking for. We've also added on top of this where we've included LED pin headers, so you're actually able to customize your third party or aftermarket LED, uh, LED strips to sync with the motherboard as it goes through its different patterns or phases of colors. Moving down, we have dual hybrid fan headers. Now what this is, is it's actually uh, fan, fan pin headers that allow you to use either PWM or voltage calibration modes. More and more users are moving to water cooling or liquid cooling and it requires them to have the pump at 100% but this allows them to control the percentage of water flow that goes through that water pump, as well as control uh, voltage, traditional uh, voltage calibrated fans. <clears throat> On this board, we have dual Intel NICs, and we also have our dual armor ultra durable design. We, as you guys have seen, and also in this picture here, you can see that the slots on the board are a little bit lit up with that stainless steel uh, from the reflection there, but you can also see it on the dim slots here. And that's also one of the things that Gigabyte has implemented, and we'll see in a few minutes as we take the board out. And some of these other features that many of you are familiar with, with the ultra durable lineup, such as our all digital power design, our M.2 support, and our amp up audio section. One of the new features that you guys might not be familiar with would be our anti-sulfur resistors. 
Gigabyte has implemented on top of ultra durable this time anti sulfur resistors. So your motherboard, uh, $200, $300, or $400, isn't thwarted by having a single less than a dollar resistor damage on the board. So that gives uh, users who spend and invest in a higher end motherboard um, peace of mind. So let's get this open so you guys can see the contents and accessories that come with it and you guys can get a closer look at the board. All right, now that we got all the accessories laid out, we threw the cardboard cartons to the side, let's look at what we have. So right here, we can actually see three pairs of SATA cables, and they come in packs of two. Uh, each pack has one right angle connector and one straight connector, so that's a total of six cables, three being right angles, uh, three being straight connectors, just in case you have some hard drives or SSDs in hard to reach places, or if you wanna route the cable behind the motherboard very cleanly. We also have an antenna here, and this antenna here has a magnetic base. I don't have anything metal to show you guys, but it will stick to the side of the chassis if needed, if you have a metal chassis, of course. Not only that, you can see that it has the two plugs here, and these support both the Bluetooth as well as the Wi-Fi that comes with your Designair motherboard. Very useful. Um, right here, like we mentioned earlier, the Designair EX motherboard isn't meant just for designers or content creators. It's actually a great board for overclocking as well. And we've displayed this at some of our exhibitions, such as Computex 2016 this year. If you guys go online and look for some footage, you'll actually see uh, us overclocking on it with uh, some memory modules. We also have an SLI bridge for two-way graphics right here, as well as I have one in the box here that has three-way graphics, but we'll get into the box a little bit later. I have a display port to display port connector. Now, uh, this one is is some this is actually used for a future a future feature that users who purchase this board will get. Now, I can't really disclose what that is at this point, but you guys can definitely check back on the site if you guys purchase this motherboard, or you guys can guess from what we've done previously before with something that has a two display port uh, a display port connector like this. <clears throat> And lastly, one of the other cables that were, was outside of the box is this cable with four different colors here. The blue, red, green, and black. You probably can't see it through that plastic casing, but it's there, the blue, red, green, and black. And this is actually the cable that we were talking about that was used for the exclusive Gigabyte Ambient Surround LED, where you can actually take this pin header and connect it to your box. Actually, I can open this for you. You guys can actually take the pin header so you see the colors right there. You can actually take this pin header, connect it to the motherboard, and you'll have these pins that actually connect to third-party or aftermarket case LEDs. So with this, you can actually sync your LEDs that are on the board with LEDs that are inside your case. So let's get this placed away. And we'll get to the different items in the box now. So we, of course, have a padded rear I.O., it also has cable management ties, so Velcro cable management ties with the Gigabyte and Ultra Durable on it. And this is a new one for me. This is actually very cool and useful for, I think, people that want to be very organized with their cables that are, that are inside their system. So there's actually seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can either use it on both ends of your SATA cable or you can use it on a single end. And what's nice about this is you can write what the drive is used for. So for the HDD1, you can say, this is my boot disk or this is my storage drive or D drive or E drive, depending on how you want to organize your drives with the hardware portion along with the software. So that's very useful for users that want to stay on top of things. We also have a G connector. Uh, we've talked about this previously in some of our other unboxings, where this connector is good to connect the front panel pin headers outside of the case and then connect the whole plate on. We have an ultra durable badge, the user's manual, as well as the utility disk for the system, as well as um, driver disks as well a multilingual installation guide, and a three-way SLI bridge. Now, 
I know a lot of you guys are wondering um, about the SLI bridge, bridges. These do work with the new NVIDIA graphics cards, but of course, NVIDIA states that it's best to use an active bridge for the best performance. So the bridges that Gigabyte does provide with our motherboards do support that the current generation NVIDIA graphics as well. So let's get these put away, and then we'll bring the board in for a closer look. All right, so let's take a closer look at our motherboard. Now, right here you can see Gigabyte has gone with the classic Gigabyte Blue on its shielding as well. And you can see that this aluminum housing actually extends from the rear I.O. side of the motherboard all the way over to the PCH. This rear housing actually supports, below it, it actually supports two M.2s, one already pre-populated with wireless AC, as well as the Bluetooth 4.2 module. Another M.2 slot is open, which allows you to attach any M.2 storage device to the 22 110 millimeter length. So that's 22 wide and 110 long. Not only that, below it, you can also choose to use 42, 60, or 80 in here as well. So that's one of the benefits of having this X99 Designair motherboard. And all of the speeds for the M.2 is at 32 gigabits per second. We also have for this, because it's an X99 platform, we have quad channel memory. And you can see that the dim slots are a little bit different. They're actually a little bit more reflective than you guys are used to seeing as it has its dual armor on it. It has the ultra durable armor and the dual armor consists of both the dim slot armor as well as the PCIe slot armor. Now this time around we've actually done something else to reinforce that PCIe slot armor and we've actually added thicker locking brackets and hopefully you guys can see it right here, here, here and here, there's some thicker dips along the at the end of the PCIe slot. And how it works is basically this metal bracket or anchor goes through the top of the PCIe slot and it goes through it, locking it in the first time and then the second time when it's soldered onto the board. So it provides for more durability for users that are actually installing heavier graphics cards for ultra high definition content or even VR as VR is very popular these days. As you move up, you can actually see we have our CPU power here and earlier we showed you guys a cable that allows you to attach multiple PSU cables to give the CPU power more stable po a more stable power source. Not only that, it prevents any overcurrent protection, uh, overcurrent or over voltage for those of you guys that want to do overclocking on our X99 Designair EX. As we move around the board, we actually have our ATX 24 pin to the side here. And just before we turn it to show you the SATA, SATA ports, you can actually see there's a five pin GPIO here. And this port or pin header allows you to connect a cable which tells the board that it has a Thunderbolt 3 device or Thunderbolt device attached to the computer. Now this is good for any add-on card that users want to, additional add-on cards that users want to add to this board or even a front panel bay. Now let's turn it to the side so you guys can get a better look at the SATA cables or SATA ports. So right here you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 SATA ports in total, and also a SATA Express at the bottom. But keep in mind, if you're using the SATA Express port, you're going to use uh, the two SATA ports on the bottom, meaning you'll still have eight SATA ports for your optical disk drive or your solid state drive or mechanical hard drives, but that SATA Express does populate the bottom two. Also, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with these two connectors here, these two connectors are the U.2s we were mentioning earlier. Keep in mind, one of these will not be operable if you are not using a 40-lane 40 uh, lane CPU. So you require a 40-lane for both of these to work. All right, and as we move down the board right here, you can actually see that we have our front panel pin headers. And earlier, we showed you that G connector where you can connect all the cables in at the top and then connect it in afterwards. We have system fans. We have two USB 3.0 headers, one here, one here. That gives a total of four. Another two more USB 2.0s, which is another four. So right here in this section alone, we have eight USBs 
capable of coming out of the front or the back of the computer through onboard pin headers. We have the LED control pin headers. So this is what we were discussing earlier with Gigabyte's exclusive ambient surround LED. You actually have the ability to attach third party or aftermarket LED light strips and synchronize those strips with the LEDs on the case. We have our TPM and then we have another fan header as well as our front panel audio. So let's turn around to the rear I.O. to see what we have and we'll discuss a little bit more about the LEDs as well as the case fans. So right here you can see we have our PS2 for users that are still using other PS2 mice or keyboard. We have two USB 3.0s. We have a display port in. Now this function comes uh, goes along with the cable that we introduced to you guys earlier where you can use a display port uh, cable from the graphics card, your discrete graphics card, and connect it into this display port in and have it come out through a different connector uh, for that display port signal. Right here, you have your USB type C connector as well as two two antennas for your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth where the antenna module is also included. We have a red USB port which signifies USB 3.1 but in the type A, type A and then a white USB port which is a USB 3.0 but this one represents our Q Flash Plus. For those of you unfamiliar with Q Flash Plus, uh, this is a feature that allows you to flash or update the firmware of your motherboard, the BIOS, uh, without having memory or CPU installed onto the board. You have dual NICs on top, dual Intel NICs, and then right here two more USB ports and gold plated audio connectors with an optical output as well. So all in all you can see on the back I.O. there's already six USB ports. Earlier we counted an additional eight from the front panel so that gives you 14 USB ports not including that type C connector right here. So overall for the RGB ambient LED that we were talking about you can actually see that the lights uh, when you have the board on they'll come from the dim slots, they'll come from around the VRM area as well as along the PCIe slots also on the left side uh, right here from the graphic that we saw on the color box. One of the other things that I want to remind you guys of is for the graphics configurations you can see that Gigabyte has actually left additional room or an additional slot location so you have more room between your graphics cards so it can breathe a lot easier and prevent any thermal throttling. So that's one of the great features as well. And keep in mind using Gigabyte's X99 Designare motherboard with a 28 lane CPU, you can actually get 16 lanes out of these three slots here. So that's 16, 16, and 16, and that's all Gen 3. So PCIe Gen 3 lanes by 16 for all three slots, even with the 28 lane CPU. All right, so that basically wraps it up for the overview and unboxing of our X99 Designare EX motherboard. If you guys like what you saw, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the Gigabyte Motherboards channel. Uh, and if you guys want to learn more about Gigabyte and find out any contests or promotions, please like our Facebook page. Again, my name is Leon Chen. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.